Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Shiner's Podcast here on One Success Mindset. I'm Dr. Darina Shine, and I welcome you to the channel. I hope that everyone is doing exceptionally great out there, and I hope you're still shining through whatever you're going through. So today I want to get right into the topic of not hiding your past. See, God's respected ones don't allow their enemies to manipulate the things that have been done in the past and has been forgiven and let go of, right? But a lot of people want to hold the mindset that you will always have to feel guilty of the things that you didn't even know was happening while you were asleep. See, most of God's respected ones have a history of being conditioned under this matrix system. So the conditioning created certain illusions in our mind that we fell for. Don't feel guilty about that. Don't feel guilty about the things you were not able to change at the time because you were naive. You, we were the fool. We were um, unsure of what was taking place. And we were thinking probably that we were insane, which we were insane because we were paying attention to what was happening. So the sanity was within us and we had to recognize that and pull it out. It's just like the example of, say, criminal justice is my background. I have a few degrees in criminal justice, but here's the catch that shiners need to, to take from that. We are no longer justifying or restoring the criminal. Criminal justice. We're no longer giving the justice to the criminal. In 2024, what we're doing is we're honoring the exposure. And when we honor the exposure, see, I give accolade to restorative justice, restoring the innocent, the underdog, the person who has been humiliated, embarrassed, stolen from, abused, narcissistically controlled, we're giving them the justice. We're restoring the justice within them. Now, I'm not talking about the ones who chose to sell them so their souls to the devil because they couldn't take it no more. And they thought that that was an easier route, so they're just going to do that. I'm talking about the ones who stay consistent in the, in the process, in the practice. You know, and once you stay consistent with something, you do it so many times. If you excel so many times, you know, saying that I'm going to stop eating candy, I'm going to stop smoking cigarettes, I'm going to stop whatever it is you want to stop. You do it so many times, it becomes a practice, then it becomes a habit, and then it no longer is an addiction. It no longer controls you. And that's what is taking place with God's respected ones. When we do not allow someone else to tell the story of our past and we hide it and we feel under that and we want to keep it a, a secret, those are the very things that's going to come out once the awakening takes place. So the best thing you need to do is recognize who you are. And in recognizing who you are, then you accept and appreciate what has been done in the course of your life. Not saying that you're a victim, saying that you are a survivor. You have survived what most people could never, ever live through. So when you do that, then what happens is you excel. You definitely excel. As you excel, what happens is you begin to see the very things that were hidden in plain sight. So the collective, God's respected ones, is going to be able to say, wow, um, it's no longer the example of, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they used the example of awakening today 
as as saying it's like a criminal is in court and the criminal is interrupting their own case and they are constantly disrespecting the jury, telling them they don't judge them, telling them who do they think they are, bullying them into giving them, you know, exonerate them or give them some type of freedom. And they act in a crazy rank fool in the courtroom. When we sit back as manipulators and narcissists and engagers to bully, that's what we're doing. We're putting ourselves in more and more harm's way to be given a life sentence. And this sentence is could, could be in society. So what I feel is God's respected ones is getting ready to get back everything that has been taken. Even in the area of unconsciousness, because what is happening is we are now in tune with the reality. We're in tune with the reality and accepted and appreciated to move forward, to grow from it. That's that one success mindset. And the collective must have that. And see, the and I go from criminal justice to restorative justice. We're restoring the justice back into society from those individuals who have once been blind. And now they see. You know, everyone deserves that second chance. Everyone deserves that opportunity to be respected. Now, if you go and act a fool after that, then it's on you. It's on you. But don't allow your past to dictate and control everything that is surrounding you right now for others to, to have that one up on you. It's kind of like tell your own story. Be the author and finisher of your own fate. Because what will happen is if you allow someone else to author your book of life, then they're going to say it the way they see it. Yeah, they may be a visionary. They may be able to say that, yes, this is, you know, how I see it. And it they may elaborate a lot more than what you could ever do because of the way that you know, it's something when someone can look down on the situation and observe it not being in it and those being in it trying to explain it. There's two different things. There's two concepts there that is vital in how you're going to make or break a, a thought. So in this perspective, we take it and we tell our own story so that way our story will not be someone else's guinea pig. Because, yeah, people love to run and tell you what they visualize and see. You know how you can have a visionary that says, oh, I see where you're going with this. And they take it and they run with it. With it. I used to think that people had this gift to do that. But what they were doing was prophesying the way that they saw life through their eyes. It still wasn't authentic. It wasn't the original. It was their original, but it may not be your original. So as shiners, what we got to do is determine which one suits us best. And most times when we're so distracted, we're so under pressure, we're so under stressed, what will take place is we're going to find how did I get here? What do I say? How do I explain this? What will people expect from me? 
How will people look at me? These are the questions that we now have over something that took place because we woke up in a world full of matrix tricks, the tricks that made us who we are. But that is the breaking away of that criminal justice. Stop being the victim. Stop being the perpetrator who plays the role of the victim into restorative justice. Now we're spiritually in, in tuning ourselves to work on us, that one success mindset, whatever that mindset is for you, and then recognizing how we're going to excel and exceed that. You know, how are we going to stay on track when, you know, we are used to being with the homies and they call and they say, okay, it's time to go kick it. And then you're with your significant other and your significant other, you know, wants you to be with them. And then you got to make the decision who is more important. Is it always more important for that other person to be uh, in control on either side, the significant other side, because even then sometimes we can find, get lost in that, you know, so we got to know what it is we want to do. And we got to fuel off of that. When you fuel off of that, then you're able to say that I'm creating the storyline for my life. I'm creating this for me. Nobody is judging. Nobody is, you know, dictating nobody is telling me when and how and why and where and who I can do what with when so as shiners one of the things that I want you to take from this podcast today this episode is don't allow other people to tell your story for you you are not a third party candidate in a um, area where somebody is better than you and they're the only ones that could tell your story Turn that criminal justice into restorative justice. Restore the justice within your heart, mind, soul, and spirit to just say that I'm trying my ultimate best, even if it is just to not judge someone today, just to not lie about something today or manipulate a situation today. I mean, there are certain things that we just will always do. That's in our nature. That's in our habit. We accept that. We give that is just desserts. But here's the thing. At what time do we recognize who we are in the game? So if you're gambling and then it's becoming a habit and it's becoming too overwhelming for you to where you ain't got nothing to show for it, then it's time for you to accept accountability and responsibility. Because when you're aware and you're awake, you are, are no longer a victim just because you woke up. That's why many people want to play. What's that uh, little thing with that kids play when they act like they're asleep and then they're really awake? Uh, I don't know what that word is, but yeah, when they start to do that, what happens is they start to learn how to manipulate. They know they hear, but they choose not to want to hear. And they put themselves in that, that justice mindset that the way I'm going to play this game is to act like I don't hear. So then what happens is you get too much many practice points in that position. Next thing you know, you won't hear anything. But everything will be happening all around you. And you'll be missing out on so much of life. So don't allow other people to tell your story for you. You be the author and the finisher of your destiny, of how you want your story to be told. If I had have allowed other people or had have allowed my institutionalization, especially as who I am in my community, if I would have allowed that to overtake my life, I would be a hermit right now. I would be so embarrassed and so humiliated and so um, so devastated that I wouldn't even get out of my bed. I'd just be a regular person, just doing the very bare minimum. And that's what this 
is all about. So when you realize that you tell the story the way you tell the story, you promote the story the way that you promote the story. See, the difference between Jesus Christ and those God-respected individuals in today's world is that he wasn't able to tell his story. Nobody, you know, he did it in a way where he just did what he did. And he had what he had. But he didn't fight. He didn't fight for what he had. He didn't set standards for the devastation of what the forces of these principalities do to us in the midst of trying to take what's ours. He knew all the rituals on the good side. He knew that his ancestors walked with him. He knew everything. But what he didn't know was how to conjure and return to the universe, to his father, that very thing that would at least save his life until he was ready to go. He allowed those around him, the Jews, the Gentiles, the Metanites, the all the, the Hemonites and all the other people that were part of the storyline, the Gentiles. He allowed everyone else to dictate and determine his life for him. And he had all that power. He just didn't know how to use it. And when we call our enemies out for what they are doing, and when we center ourselves in a place where we are, we don't isolate ourselves, but we protect our cipher. By protecting the cipher, what is happening is we're not as easily accessible. Our routines are not exactly the same. The easiest way to get to a person is to know their schedule. When you work a nine to five, it's very obvious. It's easy to know a schedule. So be where you are and where others may think you are, flip it up, change cars, have someone come pick you up, have someone, you know, there's different ways that you can do certain things that you do where you can be going in and out of town and people never even realize that you're out of town. But, you know, and then you're right back here where you are. So you never know. You never know. That's why you have, that's why, you know, shiners have stalkers. You know, God's protected and respected ones are always being watched. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone is being watched. And it's not a paranoia that needs to be specifically designed for your life. Don't worry about it because guess what? Everyone has the ability to record everything that they do in every wicked moment of their lives. Even in their secret moments, they're being recorded. So if you live life like that, Shiners, there is nothing that can be done. Nobody can record anything that could embarrass you, uh, that could make you feel invaluable. Because everybody has that recording. Big brother, big sister, big cousin, <laughs> big pun, big hun. <laughs> everybody got somebody or something, or some entity, or some, even if it's just your spiritual energy within you that knows what you do. That's why a lot of people on their dying bed, they tell the truth about things because they can no longer deal with it. It drives them so insane until the voices are so loud. We might as well keep the voices at a minimum and control the narrative. Control the narrative. And just like that defendant uh, in the courtroom that disrespects the jurors who's going to be the trier of their fact, 
Sometimes we can sabotage our own story. Sometimes we can be so aggressively impacted by other people's demises upon our lives that we didn't see that it was a game. And shiners don't do that. Shiners are accountable. Shiners are aware. Shiners are making sure that they are working on themselves every day, not just when you want to show out for the the guy you just met. So now you want to go and do a little bit of research to see how it is in the day's world to be authentic. And then you look up an example and then bam, now you're playing the role of that character. No, it's not that. It's about finding it within yourself, closing your eyes and meditating and not using somebody else's originality as your duplicate copy. Because what's going to happen is one day you're not going to be able to play that role. That person may not be in your life. So now you no longer have that ability to, to project and use a duplicate of some other original source. Because only the original is the only true, real thing that is evident. So it's about that. And I, I, I just needed to get on and I needed to put this out here to let you know that the things that have been taken from you, your wealth, your, your um, abilities to move forward, all the things, your jobs possibly, your children, all these things are going to be added unto you again as long as you are on the path that says, I'm going to tell my story my way. I am going to be the author and the finisher of how my story ends. Not because I played the game through a matrix and this system took everything from me, including my loyalty to myself, my sanity, my integrity, and left me as an empty shell. See, this is the exposure time. 2024 is just like taking pictures with a camera and going to get the exposures. You're going to see what it truly took. You're going to see what life truly did. And many of us are not going to be happy with what we awaken to, but there's nothing we can do about it. We just keep it moving. We just keep trying. We just keep manifesting. We just keep telling ourselves that we are worth it. And we don't put the blame on someone else that had nothing to do with the way that it all went down. Why should you third party uh, blame someone else? You know, why would you do that? Shiners don't do that. Shiners take accountability. Yeah, I'm at fault. Now I need some help here. I need to rectify this thing. How do I do it? Responsibility and accountability is the key. And many of us don't know how to be responsible because many of us have always been told we are the victim. And that's okay. When you know better, you do better. But don't be that person who needs help from a jury to decide what they need to do to, to help them figure it out and disrespect them to the point where you lose your 12 angels, where even the angels in your life are going to say, and this is to the manipulator and to the narcissist and to the controlling individuals who have not tapped into the fact that you don't owe anybody any life help other than yourself. Don't be the one that has all the jury decide your fate in a negative way. You know, because when you bully somebody, that's exactly what you're doing. You're being judged by 12 psychological perspectives in your mind. And it's at the cost of all that you've been taught versus all that is true. It's called the way of ma'at, the, the principles, the value system, the connection that truly says you should respect your fellow person. You should, you know, not 
do things that you know could harm the whole collective because what you do to others, you do to you immediately. And believe me, you before, you know, you have some people here who are so abundantly protected as God's respected ones until even in your psychological thinking about a person, our ancestors already streamlined what it is you're thinking about. But they'll put us in a place of hiding before you can get to us. It's been done to me. I have been sat down in the most protected places and held there. I'm like, oh, God, I'm ready to go. I'm so ready to go. But that very thing that held me there was the predicting point that saved my life to where my where God pulled me right out of the situation to show my enemies, we see you. We know what you're plotting. We know how you're plotting it. There's nothing new under the sun, and we're ready for you, however you want to take this down. But know this, God's respected is always protected. So, Shiners, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being consistent in your life, rocking in the shoes you're walking in. Keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving because there's so much more value in that than just standing still and stagnant. Even the waves move with the wind, you know what I mean? It dances all day, and the sun just warms it up and makes you feel so good inside. Keep shining, baby. Don't let nobody take that from you. Peace, and I'm out.